Ludwig van Beethoven. The name alone conjures up all kinds of popular images of what classical music is. Here was an eccentric genius, a misunderstood loner, who battled his own personal demons and handicaps in order to find a new musical voice at the end of the 18th century. He was a composer who overturned the well-ordered apple cart of the classical style as he tried to resolve the turmoil of his life through his music, a music of unheard of power and ineffable beauty. Here is the Haydn Quartet, Yum, ba dum bum bi da dum and here's the Beethoven in 3-4. That's in 4-4, four, four. this is in 3-4. Yum, ba da dum bum bum um, Remarkably similar. All I need to do to make one into the other is to take one note of the Beethoven, the F, and turn it into a D, and then I have the same series of pitches. da di da di da dum da 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 di da dum Exactly the same thing. What's even more remarkable here, however, is the fact that Beethoven did not begin composing this piece with this idea. As was always the case with Beethoven, he worked through a series of sketches. And his original idea for this piece, which we can see from the sketches, was in cut time, 2-2, two, two, which of course is a duple meter like 4-4. Four, four. And now look at how much more alike these two are. Yum, ba -da dum bum bum Yum, ba -da dum bum bum Amazingly similar. The opening of the Pathetique Sonata is a fine example. A slow introduction begins with a loud seven-note C minor chord that threatens to overwhelm the piano at the time. I've written this chord on the board right here so that you can actually see what it looks like, starting with the low C, a triad, another triad, and then another octave duplicated at the top. A very thick kind of texture, unusual at the time. Huge dynamic contrasts written in the music indicate the composer's inability to accept the piano for what it was. In nearly every way, Beethoven asks for more than the instrument of his time was capable of producing. Let's listen here to a little bit of this opening slow introduction of the Pathetique Sonata. You see the dynamic contrasts. The loud falling off to the soft. 